Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Distant Worlds Honor Burst. The series continues, hooray! It's almost been two weeks since the last video, but I did say I'm not giving up on this series, and I, I really am standing by that, despite the delays. I'm gonna try to do um, something a little different to try to get episodes out within um, a week's time. I'm gonna try to do batch recording. I know that a lot of other people recommend this when you, uh, you know, it, it becomes a lot easier. I prefer to do videos one at a time just because I can respond to comments more. And I think people, um, if you've gotten this far in the series, you probably have already noticed from my channel, I try to stay very active in the comments. However, for a series like this, just to keep it going, I think it's probably everyone would agree that getting a video out, um, even if I haven't responded to comments, is probably better than waiting so long uh, and just doing one at a time because then uh, with the series, if I wait longer, it gets actually harder. I'm sure this makes sense. It becomes really hard to remember where I was when I left last left off, and then it requires more uh, a more intense effort for me to go back and discover what I did in the last episode and all that. So, uh, speaking of, what did I do in the last episode? Well, we've we're at war with the Haven Knights. They sent a main fleet over here. Um, I did I did, was able to dispatch that with only one destroyer damaged. It is now being repaired. Also, my spaceport is being repaired slowly by the planet. Um, off camera, I sent a lot of my construction ships to build gas mining stations. So one, two, three, four, five. Just because we're actually a little bit low on gas mining planets. Uh, I mean, not that we are low, but I don't. I can't be bothered to send our fleets back to repair at the various places. And what this kind of highlights is our. Uh, the strong need we have for better rea uh, reactors, I mean hyperdrives. Now that's coming up next, so I just need to be patient, but probably it's worth it for us to invest our money into um, the high tech and the industrial because this will have a, a more significant end game effect. What I mean by that is eventually we will get the, rea the hyperspace um, engines what are these called? I can't remember. Hyperdrives. Yeah. We'll eventually get the best hyperdrive. It's just a matter of time. However, it's not a guarantee that we will actually get all these wonders that we really want, especially with some of them already being built, like the Open Trade Network one, um, the Entertainment one. So hopefully we can blow through and at least get the Empire income. That's probably, I would say, the most important of all the wonders you can get, which is a pretty bold claim but at the end of the day if you like to think of it this way um, if you can survive until the very 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 late game and we did do um, we did put a research on very very expensive actually not very expensive but somewhat at least um, sorry one sec Ugh. if you think about it in terms of like when we get to the very end of the game we are not going to need anything but income Research won't matter anymore, which means all of our... I, this is kind of an obvious comment. Maybe I don't even need to make it. But all of the um, research stuff that we had, it's, it's not going to play any part once we don't have any more research to do, which we could conceivably get to this point. Now, usually the game's already decided by then, which is why it doesn't matter as much if you focus on these end, end game things. For example, that's why I always like the Akdarians because they have this plus 20%, I think it is, size for military increase size for military um, and that's gonna help at the very end game when uh, ship sh ship sizes are just totally capped you can't research anymore beyond the last research thing so let me just keep going while I'm battling here oh uh, yeah so that this is by the way the fleet that was uh, sent after us this is the fleet right 87th is that the same one let's see we have a ship stranded. Okay, that's probably one I'm already taking care of. Yeah, this is the 87th. So this is all that arrived. We're not too threatened by this. Oh, okay. Protector of Grayson is sending our their 22nd, 23rd fleet to join your attack on Tatooine Fist. Well, probably unnecessary. I don't think they realize that we can handle just this one. <laughs> this is not going to be... Uh, an urgent matter, in fact, in the end. So hopefully you guys don't engage. I would prefer, can you just, I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna tell them to refuel just so they ignore this threat. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I guess their fleet just got separated. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll move them in then. Wow, perfect timing. So I, I didn't finish my off-camera thing. So to finish that spiel, uh, the Actarians have bigger military ships, and sometimes I think, okay, that'll be good in the end game. Actually, that's good at all points, but uh, you rarely, rarely, I almost never get to the end game. And it takes a very balanced system. You have to get the AI just right in order for them to be good enough to survive into the end game and all that. And it takes a lot of persistence on your part to play the game that long. So um, although it's it's like min-max correct to think about getting end game stuff like the Empire income, Wonder being like the most important one. <clears throat> in the end, uh, like pr from a practical standpoint, it doesn't usually end up being that important. Um, Empire income is always a great wonder. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but if you're, if I'm saying that it's not as important as the research ones because of end game, well, uh, it's kind of a, I would say that that's a, a theoretical argument at best. Okay, um, let's try to deploy our ships in a meaningful manner. Do they have? fighters i don't see let's hope they don't let me just send somebody else down to respond to these anyway okay let's get the troop transport let's get going on him who do we else do we have over here on call zero eight we'll send those guys this way sounds like i'm gonna have some children playing in the background but it probably can't be avoided oh my god we don't need the i haven't done the empire comparison yet which is kind of funny but uh, we probably don't need to. Let me get this group to actually jump in to help. Because it does appear like there's going to be, my god, actually quite a lot of ships coming in here. Another troop transport. We'll have to watch out for those. But it looks like we're already doing... Oh my god, that ship should be going just down almost instantly. Just want to keep an eye out for those troop transports. Anyways, I didn't finish what I was saying. Off camera, I only advanced maybe 5 minutes at 0.5x. I don't know, but that's probably like a month or something. Very, very small amount of time. Maybe even less than that, because I queued up the all the orders just using the Empire uh, Expansion Planner, went to Caslon, and I just scanned down the list looking for anything. So you can see that we have four here and one down here, and I chose not to get some of these other ones that this was in Grayson space, and I want to get the ones, sorry about that, I <laughs> got these children in the background. Um, I want to get the ones, like this is a good candidate, but it's a little bit too far away. I think I got one that was almost as far away. Now, yeah, not quite. But this one is practically in Solarian space, so we're going to avoid that one. And they keep getting further and further away from there. So, um, yeah, anyways, that's how I did the castle on. And then I paused the game, and here we are, back in it. Just the moment I saw the first ship emerge, I didn't actually realize there'd be more ships. <laughs> but this looks like a swarm of piranhas against a shark, a bleeding shark, something that would instigate them. Or maybe a swarm of bees against a bear, um, but very potent bees. The kind of bees that a bear could kill a bear because this this ship is certainly going to be going down it's already lost 400 shields and really not much left to say about that um, just want to make sure we take out those this poor ship <laughs> you just you just got caught in the wrong time wrong place wrong time uh, we'll let those guys jump over repairs are still going on well here okay they are sending more help, but we aren't going to need it, I don't think. I mean, I'd prefer them to actually attack whatever this was guarding, which is now left opened. That's my preference. Uh, Salesians are even going to help. That's very nice, but... Um, okay. We don't need to worry about the destroyers. They probably don't carry any kind of anti-planetary stuff. They're just skirmishers, essentially. So we should be okay to just focus on the troop transports. We want to kill those, because that kills their troop allotments as well course so let's try to focus on those before we before they all escape what do we have here let's get the cruiser group which is probably completely intact and we see they are um destroyer destroyer destroy well let's have them focus on the the closest and if i can let's get qrf2 wherever you are whoever you are let's get you guys to focus on this wait can i get yeah, let's get you guys to focus on this troop transport. It's probably going to attempt to um, flee, at least. It seems like the natural course of action at this point uh, to get the hell out of there. Well, it is turning on, so that's probably not a good idea, but that's fine. It's helpful for us. I don't know if we'll take any damage from any of these. Did we Have we already taken any damage? Doesn't look like it. So 4,800 of our firepower is here. 
that's the one big thing. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this enough, but when you look at the military strength, sure, the Haven Knights had, they were at 25,300 last I checked, so they've actually increased their military strength. But mind you, a lot of this military strength is tied up in defensive platforms and spaceports. Um, so we don't actually know. There's no, Distant Worlds has never done a good job about this. I've always thought that this was kind of silly, that military strength was just a measure of this, the aggregate of your firepower. That's a bit silly, but that's just the way the game is. So um, anyway, it, it's, it's, it kind of doesn't make sense in the sense that obviously uh, defensive platforms can't be moved. So it's not a good measure of your actual military strength. And I hope we can get this one. No, he was able to warp out just in time. Are they going to flee though? Because maybe we could predict... You know what, we don't have the hypersensors or whatever, um, so we're not going to try. What we'll do is we'll reform, we'll give our ships maybe a little bit of time. Obviously that was a, a good blow to the, um, let's just go up to fleets. That was a good blow to the um, Havenites regardless. And this is why it's kind of silly that people send their response fleets to you. I don't want them. Go and do something useful with those fleets while the enemy fleet is tied up here like taking out those pirates over in Aquios. But that's okay, they don't, they're not that smart. So we'll get everyone to move back to the home planet. Um, yeah, so basically all the forces here should be QRF1, QRF2, they're already moving there, QRF3, we'll move them there as well. Actually, we're gonna get these guys to even try to refuel whatever they can at this moon. Um, the destroyers we have are cast on base, but the just the cruisers which we're moving towards and even the battleships or whatever else we're going to get next, those will all be hydrogen based, which will be a big boon for us because right now part of the problem that we have is we don't have enough hydrogen for everyone. I mean cast on for everyone, but hydrogen is not yet. I doubt it will ever be a big problem just because of the way we're going to divvy up our, our fleet. So let's take a look at what we have going on here. So look at that, plenty of hydrogen available, very limited, very, very limited Castellan. It's all already like reserved. What can we do though? We might be able to get some from here. How's this supply? Probably also very limited. Yep, practically all taken. Um, I think our, what's our ship storage at? What do we have for our fuel capacity? Excuse me, 480 for these, sorry about that. Uh, so 480, that's probably like three ships worth of fuel that we can get down there, so it's, it's not much. Okay, um, this is probably not good. Ah, okay, so this is another fleet. We just need everyone to tuck in very quickly then. Okay, reserve 02, move here. So reserve 01, move there. Everyone else is doing the right thing. On call, sure, you're... Still on call, I guess, but go ahead and move to the planet. Um, yeah, so th we'll do that. That seems sufficient. That means the enemy fleet is inbound. We'll take that gift. We'll also, just as always, we want to keep checking to make sure there's no opportunities to make money. All right, now we're doing really well, I would say. The, the are, they are pleased with us. We actually have a respectable reputation, which I'm happy to see. <clears throat> yeah, so they're only upset that we're basically at war with the, the Sol Solarians. We're not at war with Solarians, but practically. These guys just love us in every way. That's probably because the Solarians <laughs> don't like them either. And see, I thought that, who was it? The Silesians or Solarians? They are friendly right now, which is, well, I don't like to see that. But it looks like the Sil Silesians are annoyed with the Solarians, which is very good to see, and they're cautious in return, so that's good. I wish there was a way we could throw a wedge, put a wedge in the, their relationship even more. But we'll just let it develop on its own. Seems like there's a negative trend there, and we'll just let it keep going. So I didn't actually, it turns out, <laughs> oh, you completed your mission, so you've arrived here. Oh, no, what? Only one troop at Manticore, that's not right. Surely I put multiple here. Let's try this again. Okay, so we have, see all of these guys need to transfer. Yeah, transfer, 
transfer, transfer. Now this is better. Why did he, I said he was loading them, but he didn't really, did he? Now we can get you over here. This will be the third of all my strike, my troop transports. Um, once he arrives, that'll be the last one we need before we can begin our attack on iTunes. Colony ship, somebody else needs refueling. Are you part of a fleet? You are not. Are you the ship that was repaired? All right, well, let's get you into a fleet then. 044, four. what do we have with on call eight? Okay, let's get, um, 044 four should be joining on call eight. Whoops, not this fleets. Okay, 044, four. let's just sort by no fleets. Okay, good, you join on call eight, fantastic. And on call eight, you guys move to the planet. That'll get my last individual to move. You guys are moving, right, to the planet? No mission. No, you do have a mission. Move here. And it's an important mission, so please hurry up about it. Our reserve three, please also move to the planet. We're about to be attacked if you haven't got the word already. So another attack inbound, this is good. I just it's just, obviously it's just surprising that the Havenites are able to replenish as quickly as we're destroying them here. Uh, probably also time. Let's see how's the. We don't want to boost this one, but what? Why, why won't he even give us the? There we go. Didn't even give us the option to boost this one. Oh, it's already boosted. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> and this one. Wow, 1.8. Okay, well that's not bad. Um, I guess we'll just keep waiting for this enemy fleet to arrive. Nothing happening. Could I speed up the game a little bit? I guess so. It did take a little while for the last one to arrive, so will it take the same amount of time? I don't know, maybe. Who knows? The waiting game. I guess I could quickly pause and see how our our construction fleets are doing or whatever. Um, our tra troop transports. No, eight is here. Nine is there, and zero is already in place. Okay, actually, number three is still only halfway there. So you're not too. Yeah, I guess you are pretty far behind, but that's fine. We need to clear out the Haven Knight fleet first, anyway. Um, I don't know what you are and what you're doing, but you should be moving to the planet. Let's group up into our death ball. Uh, there is a 4X podcast that I've joined recently, and we did talk about, I thought it was really interesting, we talked about Distant Worlds on the very first one. Um, even there was talk about how the controls are just really terrible. A lot of people complain about the user interface. I understand. It's pretty common. Um, but they talked about how the fleet disperses and like you can't really land things in an organized manner hmm well this is rather poor timing but we will have to dispatch somebody let's just get this group who are you QRF2 get you guys to move the gas mining station as a response force uh, they probably are going to ward them off by themselves. Did they already damage any components? Even just dam damaging a few is enough to get them to go away. And that guy did come in hot. I need to make sure, though, that the rest of my forces are not running away. That would be a disaster. I haven't even been checking if they're all on system. Yeah, see, they're on system targets. Damn it. Okay, well, let's just do this quickly. Nearby move nearby move um, system targets nearby move what are you two three move nearby okay uh, four 
nearby. Sorry, I wish I had seen this off camera. Of course, I wouldn't have to bother you with it then. And you guys also nearby is already selected. Very good. Observe. Reserve two. Very good. Okay, fantastic. And I do need one group. What about reserve three? Why don't we get you? I thought I sent somebody. I probably did send somebody, and now I'm uh, gonna have to send somebody else because I was I removed somebody's tasking. Are they gonna come back? They are, and there's more. Oh, okay. So I didn't remove system targets from these guys, but that might end up being a very good thing. <laughs> so what are we up? What are we up against? Three fifty-five, one twenty. Versus 840, 88. That should be enough. Oh, okay, so this is. I just. We only have a little bit of shields left. But I think we're just going to be able to save it. And we have our construction um, ships here as well, so even if. Oh! Oh god. Well. That got that got busy in a hurry. Um, yeah, this was just perfect timing. I wonder if it was paid off by the Haven Knights to do such a thing. It would make sense. Oh, they're bombarding our oh my god, who where is our this battleships are usually the ones who are bombarding. We have so many ships, how is it possible that they're doing anything here? I imagine I imagine we're just going to destroy all the ships that come close. Uh, we are lifting there. Uh, that's fantastic. Let's discuss something else. Okay, we are not going to impose say, trade sanctions. I guess that would be a mistake. It's kind of interesting to see how they're doing. Why? Why this sudden change, reversal of fortunes? They are only annoyed at us now, and they're also. And the Silesians are also annoyed at them, although they are only cautious towards the Silesians. And they are annoyed at us. Okay. Well, it's going to be a mystery. I'll never know exactly why the AI chooses to do the things it does. We are only slightly ahead of them, as has always been the case. Just barely ahead of them in strategic value. It's nice that we're ahead of them, though. 63 million versus 80 million, so we do have the edge on them in population. That is where we should start gaining ground because we have all the new colonies, which, my god, this is a big fight. It's, too, it's almost too much to control. So you did... Wow, six. That is perfect. Just barely didn't take damage. And uh, the two forces here are certainly enough to take down this last force, uh, last ship, even though these are pretty big ships. Menacing Sun. So these guys are coming over from here, Aquarius. So I'm going to have to deal with those eventually. I do have a lot of destroyers, and those are probably best used. Okay, I need actually my... No, you. I actually need you to come back and destroy this. Oh my gosh, it never ends. Well, it's nice that they're all planning their vacation over here in Hagro, because that's where all my ships are. <laughs> And we have plenty of construction ships to repair the damage in between. This is quite a battle. Um, how are we doing? We have, it looks like, five ships this time that have taken some damage. We don't have our full fighting force here, obviously. So, Oh, don't let the troop transports get away. Get them. Get them if you can. And you? Get him. All right, we got we came right on top of this carrier. That was perfect. A few battleships here giving us some grief. Only 600 for their shields, but 250 for their... Uh, this one is better, obviously, this cruiser. Their cruiser design is actually, I think, they're the, the best. Okay, QF1. You guys engage. I don't actually know. Cruiser or the battleship? Let's go after the battleship. It's more firepower, less shields. It was kind of a no-brainer. I just had to take a second to process. Yeah, 600 shields, higher firepower. As we're going to see, their cruiser is 
Higher shields. Oh no, it's only 360 on shields. Where did I get whatever other number I was looking at? I don't know, but still the higher power, higher fire power ship be a good first target, I think. And we've almost completely destroyed them. Is this ship going to get away? Come on. Good, good, good. I'm sure that we've neutralized that threat as well. Okay, they, they are moving. You guys can also respond. We have plenty of, like I said, plenty of construction ships to begin the repair process as soon as this is all said and done. People are going to send their fleets, but then not send them because we dispatch with the fleet they're trying to send to help. And what do you know? Ah, so after all that success, our captain has decided to acquire a negative trait. I don't really understand that. I think the success in that fight should give them positive traits, but who am I to say these things? So I guess we're going to have to do the same thing, get everyone to move back to Hagura. And you know what? I might actually put a cut in here just because I'm going to have to do a little bit of management off camera with the, the damaged ships. So we have one here. How damaged are you? Oh, you're you're pretty badly damaged. Uh, okay, so four. Move to Agura. You have three damage there. Get everyone to move Agura. How do I say this? Hag, Hag, Hagraura. So I'm saying it kind of right. We can make up whatever way we want to say it, of course. But I just want to be like a believable. <laughs> At least be believable. Don't patrol, no, just move. And move. I probably won't be able to bring the construction ships in if we don't want to lose them, so I will have to wait for the next wave to deploy first. And I think, yeah, okay, well, let's just get these guys to move to the planet as well. Should be everyone moving to the planet. Okay, looks good. Alright, well I think I'm just going to have to call this uh, video to a quick cut here. This is good though, I can actually start my batch recording thing, which is nice. Um, anything else we're doing that we need to be doing in the background? I'm just, obviously I'm tunnel visioning on the combat, which isn't it's a very usual way of playing this. Uh, Sinister Gangsters, oh! Preparing to destroy my remote energy research. I still don't think those are doing any work for us, but I left them just, just in case. Ah, was that my troop transport? Yes, it was. Very good. All right, well, let me just put a cut in here, and we'll come back. And that way I can get this episode up a little quicker, too. And uh, just know I plan on getting the next episode up, hopefully within the next week, maybe even the next five days, since I should be doing it right now. I'm just going to try to spread them out, like, maybe every four or five days. And uh, then everyone will be happy. I'll try to even make them between 20 and 30 minutes, which will enable me to make them faster. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Distant Worlds Oniverse, hopefully in the not-too-distant future.